to page two, and there's very interesting pictures there of um, a streetwise youth, a youth who is playing with a ball there. Now, this issue of unemployment has been looming for a very long time. It's a thorn that has not been able to be removed from our system. Uh, just last year, there was an, a survey by one of the World Bank, and it stated that an unemployment rate is so high, especially within the youths. And of course, there's the mismatch between skills that we have and those that are offered uh, in universities. What do you have to say about this? I think that we as a nation already know the situation that we are in in as far as unemployment is concerned. Yes. And we cannot continue putting pressure on something that does not even fit at the, at the end of the day. I think that the, the way out is for us to be able to expand the industry and to be able to invest more, especially in the young people who I have said before, these are very creative minds. All they need is a little bit of investment. And we have seen even with the creation of the youth fund yeah. that if you give these young people an opportunity that they are able to do wonders. And I think that is the direction that we should go. Instead of us putting more pressure on an employment system that does not hold, we should continue to invest in these young people and allow them to use their creativity and give them a platform for them to advance themselves. So is the government doing enough? I think the government is doing some things, just that they need to keep on doing it. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, we can move on to page three now. Um, and there's a very interesting 